I think it's very good that overall cancer rates are decreasing. Of great concern, though, is the fact that in head and neck cancer, those cancers related to HPV in the oropharynx have been increasing over time. HPV is a sexually transmitted disease, and over half of all adults will have had this infection over their lifetime. It is essentially responsible for all cervical cancers and over 70% of cancers in the oropharynx. This is a model of the mouth, the tongue, and we turn it around, we see the voice box and the back of the throat. The HPV-related cancers occur at the base of the tongue and in the tonsillar area that would look like this. The highest frequency is found relating to oral sex and to the number of partners someone has. So the more partners one has, the higher risk of getting an HPV infection, which could lead to a cancer. While more than half of the adult population has had an HPV infection, most individuals clear the infection and they get rid of it. It's gone. It's only a small percentage that are at risk. And those individuals that are at risk have persistent infection. They're unable to clear it. It doesn't go away. The vaccine can be given before people become sexually active. And it's recommended for both boys and girls starting around the age of 11 through age 26. Vaccination rates in girls are around 30 to 40 percent, and we would hope they would be as high as 80 percent. These are adolescent girls. Similarly, we would expect to have a good vaccination rate in boys. Why is this so? Why is it low? Well, we have to have buy-in from the parents. If the parents believe that the vaccine is important, that it's safe, it's effective, and it prevents HPV disease, and there's a good re relationship with the parent and the pediatrician, then we'll get the children vaccinated. So for those individuals in the older age group, it really depends on uh, what their history is and what their current sexual activity is. If they have multiple sexual partners currently, then they may be at risk. And what they should do is they should talk to their personal physician and consider getting the vaccine. But we should all remember that this cancer is preventable with the vaccine. We really need to focus on getting our adolescent children vaccinated at the appropriate time.